Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, before I get into the topic, I just wanted to say a word about the comments uh, that, that are being left on my videos. I'm really impressed and I'm encouraged to see all of that. Um, I encourage you to, after you watch the video, to look through the comments and see what's being said. There's a lot of helping each other and a lot of encouragement and it's a lot of good knowledge that's going through there and I really appreciate it. Uh, it's good to see and I ask you to keep it up. And also, if you haven't, uh, consider subscribing to the channel, help it grow, and, uh, and so you won't miss my videos. And I'd appreciate that. So on to the topic. <clears throat> I know um, last time we talked about food shortages and, and uh, the price is going up, but it's much bigger than that. It's much more to it than that as we start to dig and do more research. Uh, it, it seems like everything, everything's going up. Uh, goods, services, basic just basic services like uh, healthcare or, I mean, you name it. Um, raw materials, uh, basic services like, um, like I said, medical care, going to get a haircut, uh, things like wood, copper, uh, plastics, uh, the semiconductor chips, that there's a shortage of that that's affecting the auto industry in a big way. I saw a video, a little snippet of um, a picture really where it was thousands of Ford trucks just sitting, waiting. They were new trucks just waiting for uh, the, the conductor chips, the little chips that uh, make up the computer so the truck can run. Thousands of them just sitting there waiting. And that was just Ford. I mean, there's no telling. That's not even Toyota and all the other the make, the mod, the makes. So, um, so like I said, goods and services just seem to just keep going up and up. And there's some scarcity in a lot of it, too. So goods and services are going up. Uh, our paychecks are not going up. I know mine's not going up. You know, it's staying the same, right? Uh, is your paycheck going up? You know, if it is, that's great. More power to you. But I think in most cases, it's not. Uh, so before I go any further, I'm going to just say I am not a financial expert. I'm not a financial planner. I'm just a guy. I'm just a prepper with an opinion, okay, and some experience, okay. So I want to talk about inflation and uh, I've been reading up on this and, and how that's affecting everything. And it's just it seems like it's just ramping up. OK, uh, first, I looked up a definition. Look at the definition of inflation. It says inflation is the decline of purchasing power of a given currency over time. Inflation is the rate at which the value of a currency is falling and consequently the general level of prices for goods and services is rising. Those with tangible assets like property or stock commodities may like to see some inflation as, the, as that raises the value of their assets. People holding cash may not like inflation as it erodes the value of their cash holdings. Okay. The basics. So before going any further, I, I saw it came out about two days ago where the Bank of America uh, came out and said that uh, they, they look that at the very least, uh, we will see transitory hyperinflation ahead. So transitory meaning temporary, uh, not long held, but is it really gonna be temporary? I don't know, you know, I, I don't think so. Uh, so even they're saying a big outfit like that is saying that uh, I just have a real bad feeling about all this. I don't know about y'all, let me know what you think, you know? so. What we're seeing is a devalue, you know, our, our dollar just coming worth less, you know, if you will. So in other words, the, the best way I can look at this is uh, the groceries that cost you $100 today, uh, the same amount of groceries, those same groceries will very likely cost you $175 to $200 in a couple of months from now. So you're going to get less for your dollars, all right? Now, hyperinflation, uh, you know, how much higher does it go from there, right? So uh, we have to keep that in mind and really watch this. I mean, is it gonna get to where, you know, like the old Weimar Republic to where they're rolling in wheelbarrows of cash, currency just to buy a loaf of bread? Gosh, I hope not, you know, heaven forbid. But that's the extreme that it can go. Um, I would recommend a couple of things. If you need a car 
if you if you see that you're going to need a vehicle or car in the next year i'd go ahead and get it if you if you're able i go ahead and get it because the longer you wait the higher the price is going to go and they're going to get more scarce and you're going to have less choice okay the same goes for a lot of different things some appliances if you see that it's you're about that one's about to go and you think you can get another six months or a year out of it you may want to really consider going ahead and, and pulling the trigger and, and get it now uh, while it's not really more expensive so uh you know i would a couple of things uh other things i would you know i would recommend uh, number one uh kind of like what i just said buy or hold on to things that you have that hold and uh, that are in, of intrinsic value that hold their value okay I'll go into a little more detail here uh, in a minute and then also stock up i think it's time to think about if you haven't already stock up on some bartering items okay so intrinsic value, some things that uh, the hold on to or to purchase if you can, if you're able, land, you know, some acres, even if it's a couple of acres, two, three acres, uh, automobiles, an auto, like I just mentioned, any collector items that, that are real popular with certain niches, you know, uh, like, a, like a classic car, uh, you know, those things tend to hold their value, all right, so good to hold on to that or get one if you can. Uh, precious metals, uh, you know, your home. Uh, so, uh, and, and to keep that home up, if there's any way you can do a little project, especially if you do it yourself, project to, to, to increase the value of that home, you know, do it. You know. Uh, so, and number two, uh, stock up on some barter items. Uh, things, some things I just thought of, you know, off the top here, ammunition. I know ammunition is super expensive and it's hard to find, but it is out there. Um, if you can get a hold of some more ammo, you know, that can be, you know, it's not getting cheaper, cheaper but I know, but uh, that could be a huge bartering item. Uh, things like coffee, uh, chocolate, candy, you know, even hard candy, uh, alcohol, the rubbing kind and the kind you drink, of course, uh, cigarettes, uh, over the counter, uh, your pain, over counter med medicines, your pain medications, uh, painkillers, medical supplies uh sanitary goods uh like soap your toiletries antibiotics if you have antibiotics uh pet food okay pet food pet supplies medicines uh, basic tools you know especially hand tools if we run into a situation where we don't have electricity you know if uh you may want to if you can grab some hand tools that are a decent deal you know go ahead and grab it a good wrench set you know, just for example use your basics so look at that look at your inventory see what you have uh as far as skills, maybe we can up our skills, okay? Uh, think about what you're capable of doing. You know, maybe you haven't done it in a while, like gardening, uh, mechanical. Can you learn to do that a little better? Uh, medical skills, even if it's CPR or first aid, I mean, that's something, that's something of value you can offer. Uh, Self-defense, you know, can we brush up on that? Or if you're an expert in that, that that's valuable. Uh, building, can you build something? You know, can you make something, uh, you know, just the basics even. Uh, sewing uh, is huge. Uh, cooking, baking, of course. So these are just some things I just thought about, uh, you know, just off the top of my head that we can do. But any little thing you can do, you know, if it's growing more food, if it's expanding your garden a little bit, okay. Uh, buy a freezer. Buy a freezer and stock that thing up, okay. We bought one uh, a couple of months ago or so. The chest freezer it's not huge but filling that thing up you know if you see a good deal go ahead and grab it and just you know, pop it in the freezer all right so let me know what you think i mean uh if you think of other um inflation busters you know let let us know uh but but i think we need to hold on tight because this is this ride is going to get a little bumpy uh, a lot maybe a lot bumpy big time so like i said share your thoughts uh, uh be safe out there okay and uh, take care, and uh, I'll see you soon. God bless you.